In this video, we're doing another key comic book spotlight, and this time on the funniest mutant there is, Deadpool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, we're doing another key comic book spotlight, and this time on Deadpool. Now, Deadpool was actually uh, probably the most requested superhero I got uh, from the comments in my previous vi uh, videos for key comic book spotlight. And, uh, you know, I had to give you guys what you wanted. So well, this one's going to be about Deadpool. Now, if you are new to this series, or I guess my channel uh, in general, uh, what I do here is uh, I have a series called Key Comic Book Spotlight. And what I do is I take a notable superhero superhero or supervillain and just point out you know five of the key and grail books that people pursue when they are fans of these characters. Now this video isn't here to necessarily identify spec but just throw out some information to maybe new comic book collectors or old comic book collectors that want to learn a little bit of about the keys and the grails for their favorite superhero or supervillain. Now, before I get into my picks for Deadpool, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe if you're enjoying my content, love interacting with you guys, uh, and let me know what the next character you'd love to see for this series uh, could be. All right, so that being said, the character we are talking about today here is Deadpool. And, uh, you know, I, I picked out five books. There's a lot of great Deadpool books out there. Uh, Deadpool has had such an amazing run and explosion since his you know creation in the early 90s uh, so it was always you know like like all these videos it's always really hard to narrow it down to five um, but I think I have a pretty good list and uh, you know it wouldn't be a Deadpool list at all if I didn't start with his first appearance and that is going to be New Mutants 98 right here so I'm sure a lot of you guys have have seen this comic book or if you're a fan of Deadpool you know about this one. Uh, this is New Mutants 98, came out in 1991, uh, written by Fabian Nicieza, and also drawn by uh, the very famous Rob Liefeld. And what, what's cool about this book is like, this is, I think, one of the ultimate blue chips to have emerged from the Copper Age. Like, it, you know, everyone kind of memes on the 90s era in terms of it being like, oh, it massively printed comics and nothing was good and, you know, n nothing has value. But as we've seen over the years, there are certain books that came from that era that have actually held their value and really, really exploded in general. And this one is one of those books. I, you know, I, I put this next to uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300 or Amazing Spider-Man 361 or First Parents of Gambit, you know, things like that. This is one of the uh, holy grails that emerged from the Copper Age. And of course, the reason for that is because this is the first appearance of Deadpool. And, you know, we've seen this book steadily increase uh, almost every year for the last like handful of years. I mean, Deadpool has always been a popular character, but once he got his movie and they just absolutely knocked it out of the park with hit, with, with the tone, you know, Ryan Reynolds did an amazing job uh, playing Deadpool and they, did, they just really got the tone right. And I think for that reason, like people love this character more than they ever have uh, from before. And this book, his first appearance has, you know, it, the numbers show that because people absolutely, you know, want want to get their hands on this book. And even outside of the movies, I mean, I think Deadpool has launched himself into the stratosphere of like an A A tier superhero. Like, you know, because because of his notoriety within pop culture, everybody knows who Deadpool is. Like Ryan Reynolds, like did such a great job. Like. Deadpool, go, you know, as far as a character's recognizability in the Marvel space is concerned, Deadpool is, is almost right up there with the likes of Iron Man, Spider-Man, Incredible Hulk. I mean, that's how I feel like that's how famous he has become in the last handful of years. And on top of that, you know, Deadpool now is going to be a part of the MCU. Kevin Feige announced that. And, you know, this book, for that reason, he's going to get his third movie. Uh, it, th this book just continues to climb. And I, I don't see this book stopping anytime soon as a, you know, the prized possession when it comes to uh, people wanting to own a piece of history about their favorite character, Deadpool. So let's dig into the numbers here. And here we go at the high end, a 9.8 is going to run you $975. There's a sale as recently as February of 2021. And you can see here, look at this, February 2021, February 2021, February 2021. As of the recording of this video, we are in February of 2021. So you can see that people are absolutely hunting this book. And uh, it's just a matter of time before this thing goes above the $1,000 range. Then on the low end here, you're not going to see too many CGC uh, numbers. But generally speaking, I mean, this is not a cheap book at all. Like if you, if you want to buy a raw copy on eBay, you're looking minimum $300 if you're lucky. $400, $500, $600 is probably more likely. And uh, yeah, this, this book right here, it, it's going to continue to climb. 
time. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised uh, to see this uh, by next year at the $1,500 range, especially once we start to get, you know, images and trailers for Deadpool number three. So anyways, that is my first pick for Key Comic Book Spotlight, New Mutants 98, a classic book, first appearance of Deadpool. All right, my next pick here for Deadpool is going to be Deadpool number one, The Circle Chase. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is actually the first limited series that came out uh, for Deadpool. So even in the 90s, like I recall being a little kid and when Deadpool came out, like even back then, everybody, all the kids, everyone in the comic book source was talking about Deadpool and everybody, you know, wanted to get their hands on that New Mutants 98, even back then. And um, so Marvel decided to do a limited series for Deadpool. Uh, and this was the first rendition of that. It was a, you know, Deadpool, the circle chase, uh, had like a four issue run, uh, really a great read. And, uh, you know, I really, really enjoyed this. I think one of the reasons why this book isn't necessarily, uh, so expensive these days is that this was, you know, the nineties where there was a lot of print run and everybody got this book. Like everybody wanted to get their hands on this. This was like, you know, from 1993. So, uh, but that being said, I still think that there, this is gonna be a book that people want to seek for a long time. I mean, the cover is very striking and it's the first time you're gonna see Deadpool, you know, in name on a cover. So that that's pretty cool, um, you know, as far as like a collector item is concerned. So if we uh, dig into the CGC numbers here, you're gonna see 9.8, uh, you know, pushing that $130 range. And then on the bottom, you're not gonna to see too many CGC numbers, but typically speaking, this is a book that you can find on eBay for, you know, the $20 range, $25 range. And then if you want to get like a super high grade CGC, it, it's going to run you a hundred, hundred some dollars. So uh, that's my pick number two, Deadpool number one, The Circle Chase. All right, let's go on now to my third pick for key books for Deadpool. And that's going to be Wolverine number 88 from 1994. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is the first time that Deadpool and Wolverine interacted in the comic books and, and, had, a, and had a battle. Uh, and people uh, really, really love this book. The cover is iconic. You know, it's really, you know, dynamic. And one thing that I think is cool about this book in general is, you know, especially from the movies and, and how they establish the dynamic with Deadpool's obsession with Wolverine. I mean, that's kind of become sort of an ongoing meme, I, I suppose you, you would call it within the Marvel Universe is, is Deadpool talking about Wolverine. And this is sort of the book that, you know, they kind of had their first interaction. And for that reason, uh, you know, it's kind of special in my mind. So uh, this is a really cool book, Wolverine number 88, uh, digging into the numbers here at a 9.8. This is one you're not going to see too many C CGC numbers for, uh, because, you know, it is a little bit more of a, a sleeper book, I, I guess you could call it. Um, but generally speaking, you know, this is one you can see, you can find on eBay for raw around the, you know, $20 mark, $25, $15. It, it kind of yo-yos up and down, but a really cool book, uh, a famous moment between, you know, two of the most popular characters in the entire Marvel universe. And one book that I think, um, you know, will continue to be sought after uh, as Deadpool becomes more and more cemented uh, into the MCU. And, and, and same for Wolverine. Once we get Wolverine in the MCU, uh, I think that all of the, these two characters' books are going to be sought after for a very long time. All right, moving on now to my fourth pick, and that is going to be Deadpool number one from 1996. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is the first issue for Deadpool's ongoing series. Now, this is not to be confused with what I mentioned earlier with Deadpool, the Circle Chase number one, where this was his first kind of limited series where you see his name in the title. Well, this is Deadpool number one, his first ongoing series. And what's really cool about this is, you know, I, I feel like the, the, the growth potential for a book like this is only starting to begin because uh, one of the things that this book has going against it, at least in my opinion, is that it came out in 1996-97. And for that reason, that was actually when comic books in general were really hurting, like where Marvel was really hurting. So not a lot of people... Uh, collected the comic books in this era. And for that reason, uh, you know, not a lot of people, I think, know about the book. So there's a lot of underrated uh, pieces within this era. And one of them, I think, is Deadpool number one, uh, you know, his first ongoing series. I'm actually surprised that this book isn't more expensive um, than it already is, which, you know, to clarify, it's not necessarily even that cheap of a book. Um, but this is a really cool thing. The ongoing series, number one issue, it's a great, great, great cover, Deadpool in the title. Uh, and this is something that, you know, is historic to this character because Deadpool in general, like I said earlier, is has cemented himself as sort of like a tier within uh, the Marvel 
comic book space. I mean, he's a character that is worthy of having an ongoing series, which, you know, for a lot of the characters, uh, a lot of characters can't actually uh, carry an ongoing series. Uh, you know, you, you only have like the, the Spider-Mans, the Captain Americas, the X-Men, things like that, that can actually have ongoing series. There's not many that can continue to do it. And Deadpool is actually one of those because we, you know, as you've are all aware, I'm sure, with new comic books, there's tons of ongoing Deadpool series again and again and again, and this is the first uh, of his kind. So digging into the numbers here, we have at the t high end, 9.8 is going to run you the, you know, $220. There was a February and January, 9.6, $100 February in 2021. And at the bottom, of course, because it's a more modern book, you're not going to see too many CGCs. But generally speaking, this actually is a book that I've seen on eBay uh, being sold for higher than those prices I just shared with you. This is one that I, I want to continue to keep my eye on because I do think that as we get Deadpool number three and as New Mutants 98 continues to, you know, sort of get out of reach for a lot of people, I think that this is going to be the second place book when it comes to owning uh, Deadpool as a collector item. So Deadpool number one from 97, this is my fourth pick. All right, let's move on now to my last pick for Deadpool, and that is going to be from the same titled run, Deadpool number 11. And what is, the, what is the significance of this? Well, this is a cover swipe of Amazing Fantasy 15, of course, but showing Deadpool. And what I like about this in general is that for me, this is one of the first times I think we started to, well, actually, let me back up. This series in general, which was uh, created by Joe Kelly, I believe, uh, this was kind of like, the evolution of Deadpool's character into what we sort of see right now in the MCU with Ryan Reynolds playing him. You know, this very like meta, comedic, uh, breaking fourth wall type of superhero who, you know, uh, that kind of spills out into their storylines and on the page. And, and with this run of Deadpool, that's when we really start to see that version of the character take shape. And with this particular cover in 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 uh, specific number, number 11, because this is a cover swipe of an amazing Amazing Fantasy 15, like you, what you have here is a very sort of like meta uh, commentary that Deadpool has within the superhero space. Like, you know, he, he's acknowledging the fact that like his rope is is cheap and it's, and it's breaking and like, you know, they don't have ads paying for the rope. And that's why like, you know, it's it just the whole, the whole, uh, you know, comedic bit that you can see here is is very meta and connects very much in line to, or it relates very much in line to Deadpool's character. So this is, this is really cool to me because Deadpool, this specific run, would go on to have many, many, many cover swipes in general, like paying homage to so many different uh, Marvel classic covers. And this was the first of that. And, and what a fitting one because it's Amazing Fantasy 15. And for that reason, I, I really like this cover as far as a collector item for Deadpool because not only is it just nice to have that Amazing Fantasy 15 homage, I feel like this cover is one of the best representations of Deadpool as a character. Um, and for that reason, I wanted to highlight it. Uh, Deadpool number 11 from 1997. And as we dig into the numbers here, you'll see 9.8 selling around the $120 mark. You, you see a, a sales recently as March of 2020. And then down here, you're not going to find too many CGC numbers. But typically speaking, this is a book that I've started to notice um, is a little bit on the pricier side when, when it comes to, to eBay numbers because of the homage cover. So you're looking at that, you know, $25, $30, maybe $40 range, depending on, you know, if you're lucky and you're able to find um, a deal or a good copy. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. Those are my five key or grail comic books as they relate to the Deadpool character. Again, Deadpool is an amazing character, uh, one of the you know bright stars that emerged from the 90s, and, and I think is a character that is going to be uh, within pop culture and the, the Marvel space for many, many years to come. And I can't wait to see him in, in the MCU. And, and for that reason, you know, a lot of these, uh, a lot of people and a lot of these books are, are, are going to be highly sought after uh, for many years to come. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. Uh, drop me a like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed, the, enjoyed it, enjoyed the content. Uh, let me know, do you guys have any of these books and uh, what characters would you like to see next for uh, Key Comic Book Spotlight? Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.